Yo, it's good to meet you, fam. I'm a boss, your roommate. Welcome to this shitty city. Honestly, like, I ain't got no idea why you decided to move here. I'd hop on the first chance I could have to dip out of this depressing ass place. So there are two main areas you gotta stick to. Dreamyville Street. This is our street. And the plaza. You reach there by walking all the way to the right. The journalism office is in the plaza somewhere. Everything is there, actually. Nice meeting you, fam. We'll conversate more later. Ah, uh, Mr. Green. Welcome, welcome. Hope the trip wasn't too bad. I've always found traveling by train fun, but it might be tiring at times. Anyways, come on, let me show you around. Those are our humble office's soldiers. With time, you'll get to know them and fit in. About work? For now, you'll be spending your time at your desk, sorting and writing reports. Have fun, friend. Enter. How are you doing today? Actually, never mind. Frankly, I don't care that much. All right, let's get started. So today we are going to start your dosages course. This is the medication that should bring back your normal skin color and remove any greenness. You should be back to human color soon. Every two days you come here and take your shot. We should be done in 10 days. Now come here and let me poke you. All right, we're done today. Goodbye, I'll see you the day after tomorrow. Let me know if you feel any side effects. Actually, never mind. I don't really care that much, to be honest.
Brains, brains. <laughs> How the hell is a monster like you allowed to walk with me on the same street? Y'all need to get wiped out, like instantly. Hey, everything all right here? You know, I tried applying here last week when they had a job opening. I didn't get accepted, and you know why? Because a zombie jute took my job instead. Hey, you're not green. You can't say the Z word. Oh, you're on their side too. God damn, what happened to this city? Frickin' zombie jutes. Still spreading their infection, I see. I'm out of here. Don't worry about that guy. There's no shortage of assholes here. Come on, let's get to work. Yo, bro. So the office gang are all chilling on the weekend. We're going to a bar and just vibing. So, yeah, reach if you want. We can get to know each other more and stuff. See you later. So, how long are we gonna stare at each other? You literally walked in on me naked in my apartment. You should be doing the explanation. Oh, did you just move in next door? Sorry for the aggressive tone, neighbor. You can't argue with me that this is... A pretty awkward situation. Anyway, a boss told me a roommate was moving in today. Nice to meet you. A boss also told me that you have a tortoise. And I bet you have no idea to care of it. I'm running to the pet store right now anyways. I own a lot of birds, and they get hungry. I'll show you how to get food for your tortoise. Let's go. I'll follow. The pet store is in the plaza. How's business? Awful. Nice, nice. How's the husband? Do you know how many jobs I have? Do you 
think I have time for anything or anyone? Listen. I don't have time for chit-chat either. I only tolerate you because you're a regular customer and you spend so much money here. Fair enough. I want to buy bird food for me and tortoise food for the fine gentleman behind me. Okay. I also want you to give him a quick rundown of what to do. With the tortoise food? Yes. He's a new owner. You just put the food for the animal. If you don't feed it for one full day, it will die. Thank you. Also, any future food he gets is on me. I don't need the money, and he was nice enough to accompany me on this quick trip. Okay. Time to head back home. Home, sweet home. Thank you. Don't forget to feed your tortoise or it'll die like the nice lady said. I'll go feed my birds now. Finally, fam. I've been waiting for you. Alright, so meet Steven. What's good? And Small J. Hey, you blessed? We need your help with a quick subject. So we're going to do a business deal. We've been trying to land an opportunity like this for Lord knows how long. All three of us are going, but it's going to be appreciated if you can fly with us to the meeting spot. Like, really appreciated. The people we're meeting are green. If they see we have a green man with us, things will go a lot smoother. Like way smoother. Small J will conversate with them and do everything. You just gotta stay in the back. Bam, I got this. Trust. Having you there is just in case, you feel me? So cool? Cool. Let's roll. So their car is here, but where are they at? I don't know, man. I'm kind of sus now. We're late, too. We are two minutes late. Relax, fam. I set up this meeting, so trust everything's under control. There they are. You're late. Car trouble. And we're only two minutes late, fam. Car trouble. Yeah, but we have the stuff. Go get it. Yo, where's our money? 
You were late. You are not getting anything. Do you have any idea what you just did? Do you think there's a human on this planet that can point a gun at Big G and stay alive after? I... I... You are stealing our drugs! You were late. What did you possibly think was gonna happen when you pull a pathetic move like this? Pathetic? I don't know, fam. From what I see, you're outnumbered, man. The only reason you are still alive right now is that I am genuinely curious about what was going through your head that made you pull that move. Now I realized you are just an extremely stupid human. Finish this idiot off! No, wait! No! Hmm. You know what? You might be right. It's going to be a lot of work to clean up and deal with the police after. And it's all over this dumbass. I'm going to go now. See you later, guys. This was the most silent car ride I've ever had. Holy shit. I've never been this scared before. Yo, uh, thanks for saving my ass back there. My plan didn't exactly go right. Yo, a boss, it was actually a good idea to bring your friend. Yo, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I think now we're going to have to figure out the next plans and be more careful with the next deal. Next deal? Fam, I'm out. Small J, I think we got to reconsider everything after what happened. Two sissies. Hey, Greeny man, let me know if you're down to venture with me again. Adios. I'm a dip now. See you guys. Thanks again, man. It was my bad to bring you into all of this. I think this was a warning sign from Allah and that I should stop. I'm gonna go to bed now and pray. Brother! Come here, brother. Did not expect to see a fellow green man here, to be honest. But we collected everyone. You must be new to the area. I am Veronica. This is Robert. There are more of us, too. We have kind of like a community. It's small, but it's essential. You have to come, brother. We are meeting tonight in my apartment. Just go upstairs in this building, and you'll find the door right in your face. Looking forward to having you with us.
tortoise food again. Here you go. Welcome, brother. I can't describe how happy I am to have another member in the family. Hey, glad to see you could make it. Everyone, this is our newest family member. Yo, what's up? Yo, how you doing? Hey, I remember you from somewhere. Oh my god, I do remember you. We went to high school together, man. You remember my name? Yes, I hope you didn't guess it. <laughs> okay, no one cares, bro. Stop harassing. You literally just got here. Anyways, we just chill and talk in those meeting nights. Hey. Hello, brother. Saw you bonding with the rest of the family. Made my day. I got a question. Are you taking the color vaccine? You know, the one that changes your skin back to your previous color? We all here are proud of being green. We don't think it should be changed. Even though life is harder and not everyone accepts us, we are not going to change our fate. I suggest you don't too. See you around. <laughs> don't mind Robert. He's not usually this hyper. He's just happy we have a new member. He's the one keeping our group together. I'm also pretty happy we have you now. Maybe we can do something- All right, family. Unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to head home now because I have to take a dump. I can't take a dump when there are people in my house. Oh. <laughs> Yo, bro. Before you head out, come here for a second. We want to show you something cool. So, there's this drug that's, like, very low-key, getting popular with our kind. You only need one drop of this in your blood, and you're gonna go back. Back to being a zombie. Obviously, till you sober up. <laughs> it feels so good to go back. I know it sounds awful, and if people found out, they'll kill us, but you need to try it to understand. Yeah, of course, use it responsibly, though. Like, lock yourself up in a room or a house alone, and then do it. That way, you won't harm anyone. Yeah, or if you're in a bad situation, maybe you can use it to get out of it. No! If any of us do that, and people see that we can go back to zombies, it's done. It's gonna be even worse than how it is right now. Bro, what? No, 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 no. Relax. I'm joking. I hope so. See you next meeting. See you, bro. 
Goodbye, brother. Stay safe. Hey, it was really nice having you with us today. I like being around you. Hope to see you again soon. God, I can smell it all the way from here. You smell pure zombie today. Looks like you've been hanging around more green-colored folk. Which is good. I'm happy for you. Give me your arm. Let's get this over with. Goodbye. What's up, man? Okay, yo, before you start running now, I'm, I'm not asking for money. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not asking for money or food or uh, whatever other homeless dudes are asking for. All I'm asking for is for you to take a hit off the stuff I have. Just one hit, brah. It'll make me It'll make me happy.
Tasty right now. Now come here, bro. Let me get a taste of this green slimy flesh. <laughs> I love you, man. Tortoise food again. Here you go. What are you doing here? There's no work today. Shouldn't you be with the rest at Red Thoughts? arrived. Hey, you good, man? You're pretty late. Sit down. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I'm just tired of being lonely and my days all being a loop. Every day's the same. Wake up, work, game, sleep. I don't know. I'm not complaining about my life. I don't have the same mindset as you. I just feel like I'm wasting my life, you know? I don't want to just exist. I want to live. I want to do something useful with my life. I don't think we need to do anything great in our life to have a greater purpose, like everyone says. I think it's completely fine to just roam around doing random things till you die, as long as you're happy. Does that make you feel better at all? No, not convinced. All right, I give up. Listen, bro, I know you're unsatisfied with your life right now. But it could be way worse. Just because you're bored doesn't mean that life is bad. I hate it when people say this. Yes, I know I could be homeless and it could be worse. I am thankful for all that. 
But just because others have it worse than me doesn't mean I'm not allowed to be sad. That's exactly what it means. You literally could have been born in a crappy country or had a disability or something. Now those are the real problems, not the shit you're complaining about. Be grateful. All right. I'm not talking to you anymore about this. Guys, relax. You two can have different opinions. Whatever, bro. This guy ruined the vibe. See y'all at work. Bro, chill. Sit down. Well done. I don't care, man. He needs to mature up and realize how blessed he is. He'll be fine when we see him again. Don't worry. All right, let's go. Hey, you gotta come with me right now. I'll explain later. Let's go to Robert's apartment. Come out, zombie juice. Nowhere to hide at this point. Where'd you find that sickening beast again? He's somewhere in the area here. I know it. Let's keep looking around. Come on now. I promise you I don't bite. <laughs> Veronica, I was so worried! Thank God you're back. Side. Turn off the light and keep your voice down. Well done, brother. Now, come here. Anyone want to explain to our newest family member what's going on? We saw them outside, so I think he has an idea. Everyone.
once in a while, they come searching for any green people here. You can guess what happens after. The police don't even do anything about it anymore. It's like no one cares enough to stop it. Someone must have told them of our presence lately. They usually show up after that. Yeah, so for now, we just gotta hide. We must do something about this crap. I'm tired of this. I swear, I'm gonna join Lord Undead soon. No, we talked about this. It's just gonna make everything worse. We cannot respond with violence. If we do, people won't change their mind about us. Oh, I forgot he doesn't know about Lord Undead. Who wants to explain that to? This might be best explained by just showing in the channel. Alright, John, get the TV and put the voice down. Warning. It is time to fight back. Not in a year, not in a week, not tomorrow, not in an hour. Now. Now. Look at your hands. If they are green, then you belong next to me, demolishing every single pathetic human who thinks they can stand in our way. You are not alone. You are not the only one feeling scared. Alone. Unwanted. We are together in this. If they all think we are still monsters, then let's give them what they want. Let's be monsters again, if it means we'll be respected and treated equally. That being said, keep a protective mask on at all times like I do. Humans can carry a lot of different types and variations of disgusting diseases. You don't want to catch anything from them. I'll be waiting for you. Stay dead, friends. It might be the only solution. We need to support our fellow greenies in this war. This war is different. It's not fought like that. Peace is the solution for us. And yes, it will take time, but again, we just gotta hold on. Brother, don't listen to her. Do not ever think about joining Lord Undead. You'll get killed and it won't even change anything. No comment. Yeah, we should be good to go whenever now. I don't hear them either. I think I'm gonna stick around here for a bit. food again. Here you go. Hey, greenie man. How you been, fam? I see you're still alive, which is already good enough. Anyways, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Like I stated earlier, I was looking for more jobs. I ain't letting one mistake make me stop grinding and go broke. Gotta get that bread, you feel me? They said they need someone who can take care of business, a.k.a. me. Frankly, I'm not 100% sure what the job is, but I'm gonna go and find out. As a thank you for saving my life earlier, I wanted to ask if you get this job done with me. Then we split the payment at the end. I'll be parked and waiting in my car. Just come in whenever you're free and we'll fly. And yes, thank you. I know my car is really sexy. Abbas copied me and got the same one with a different color. Can't blame me. My taste in cars is unbeatable. Hello. In. Out. Goodbye.
be the partners. Welcome to the local pool. Once a place where the laughter of children filled every corner, but now an abandoned husk of what it used to be. In other words, it's a perfect place for our kind of work. Before we proceed, however, we must clean up the place first. A task which we have decided to include in your paycheck. What? Fam, we didn't come here to do no cleanups. I know. We'll get there. But we can't do business where there's garbage everywhere, can we? Now get cleaning. Hey, Greeny Man, I've gotten us this job and the last one. So it's about time you helped out more. How about you deal with this bullshit? Greeny man, you going? Well, uh, I guess we're somewhat even now. Let's get the hell out of here now. What have I done? I just killed a person. I have actual blood on my hands, fam. Oh, it might be time to stop all this. No more jobs. Time to go on the right path. I'm gonna drop you home and skip town right away. Start a new life somewhere. Maybe Russia? The boys and I always talked about going there. Let's dip it. Yo, wake up. What around is that Steven got picked up? Cops got him in the interrogation room right now. Apparently, they found out about our last deal and went looking for us. We're safe here. No one knows where we at. We just gotta stay low key for a few days until the heat dies down. This is serious shit. I ain't trying to go to prison yet. Now look, Steven is my boy and everything but I'm a bit worried that he might break and tell him about our location, if I'm being completely frank with you. He was tweaking and freaking out last time, remember? Probably won't be too hard for the cops to make him tell on us. It's all right. I trust him. 
He ain't gonna snitch on us. Police! Get on the ground! Please, we, we didn't do nothing, officer. I don't want to hear a single word that comes out of your filthy mouth. That applies to your brain-eating friend, too. Now get on the flipping ground! Again, if anyone says another word, we'll have a real problem. So stay silent. There we go. Oh, you're finally up, fam. We in jail now. To be frank, we are in a really shitty spot right now. This might actually be it. No, don't say that! I can't go to prison! Steven, shut your rat ass up! We are here now because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. I am really sorry, guys. I messed up. I messed up so badly. Yes, you did. So shut the hell up. Yeah, so as I was saying, I really don't know what we should do at this point, fam. No! I didn't even say bye to my mom! Steven, I told you to keep your mouth shut. What is happening here? Did he just say he didn't say bye to his mom? Hey, yo, back off. Answer. You come any closer and I'm turning you into past tense, fam. Yes, I did say that. Pulling the tough guy act all the time is so exhausting. I can't anymore. I want my mama. Yo, what are the chances? You remember me? Your trip partner. You again? Can't believe I'm trapped in a cell with three zombie dudes. No wonder this place smells like sewage. Damn. Who you saying smell like sewage? We ain't your mother. Damn. This is actually somewhat entertaining. Yeah. Almost made me forget that we might be locked up for the rest of our lives. You just crossed the line. Do you even know who you are talking to? Do you think there's a human on this planet that can insult Big G and stay alive after? You are very lucky we are in here. You think I'm scared of you? You are literally a walking virus. One day, the world will be cleansed of your infectious kind. And I'll be participating in that. Watch your mouth. That is me watching my mouth. <laughs> what a bunch of nobodies. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say hi. Hi. <laughs> watching you washouts make me feel so good about myself. It's literally why I applied for the job. Just wait till I get out of this hellhole. No, I want to watch my kids grow up. Easy, boys. Don't get naughty with each other, because I'll be checking on you. Guys, guys, relax. Why are we fighting with each other? So the cop can make fun of us? None of us are bad people. We shouldn't be here. Each person say what they were caught for right now. I'll start. I was caught with natural food that's illegal for some reason. Drug deal gone wrong. Same. Same. Robbed a gas station. Next time I'll hit a restaurant or something to make it worth it. I am protecting my leader. Serving time instead of him so he can continue saving the country. Exactly. See, guys? None of us are that bad. We shouldn't be here. I am that bad, and I should be here. But I'm leaving soon. We all want to leave soon. But how? I say we make a plan and escape. Wow, you're even dumber than you look. 
You sure you're not high anymore? I want to leave this place. I'm down to escape, fam. Just tell me what to do. Any ideas? Someone go peek outside. See what we can do. Hi, boys. <laughs> I don't think there's anything worse in this world than being in this cell. Yes, there is. Me being out there with you. Freeze. Time to die, enemy of the law. <laughs> I love doing this. That's exactly why you're not coming out anytime soon. Always on time. Big G, this is the last time I'm saving your breakfast ass. Sure. Let's get out of here quick. Good plan, team. Freedom, here I come. Allah's blessed me with another chance at life. I can go see Mama! You're committing another crime? This is so dangerous. I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. We're at the exit. Did they seriously only have one guard here and virtually no security? I am free! Woohoo! I'm getting out of here! Not so fast, fast boy. Wait, what? I think this is where we part ways, fam. It was an honor grinding with you. Steven and I are gonna skip town. No! We're gonna go say bye to my mama first. Right. We're saying bye to Steven's mom, then dipping forever out of this country. Probably go to Russia. I don't know why, but I really want to live in Russia. Goodbye. Take it easy, fam. Boss. So... What do we have here? We have a filthy sad sack of rotten eggs who doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. He ain't a fan of our color. Oh, you're one of those. I'm not scared of you, zombie jute. Everyone hates us. What I like about you is that you at least say it to our face. Should we blow his brains out here or outside? No, I'm sorry, please! Hey! You! Please help me! I'm sorry about everything I said about your kind. Our kind? I still don't like the sound of that. Your beautiful and unique kind! <laughs> Much more like it. Computer hacker, he was talking to you. So what do you think we should do? What? 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 Spare him! Well, was not the answer I was expecting, but all right, I'll respect it. If my mouth wasn't as dry as a desert right now, I would have spat on you and your disgusting character. We have no tolerance for racists. Hey, you, you told him to choose, and he did. Unfortunately, can't argue with that. I cannot believe this! One second. Let me take the mask off. There we go. What a shame. Anyways, make sure to go stay hidden for a bit till the heat dies down. Stay dead, friend. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
I am sorry for everything I said. I think I was very wrong about everything. I gotta go. We gotta go now. Quick! Your encounter with the police is a perfect opportunity. The whole city is talking about it. You won't believe what happened. Melissa Brownman wants to invite you onto her show. The show's crew was in the area earlier looking for you. She wants to do an interview with you, live. This is your chance to talk about zombie Jew depression. Get all our voices heard and spread a message about how the world is still treating us. Let's go now, before the city loses interest in what happened yesterday. Her studio is in the plaza. like the rest of them. Hold on, I'll tell Miss Brownman. You're a popular man now, huh? All right, we're ready to shoot. Let's go. Shoot? Already? Yes, let's go, now! No time to waste. Go ahead, I'll wait for you here. Hello. Thanks for joining us today. The world needs to hear what happened coming from you. It's about time to end racism towards the great green population. I'll be asking a few questions about the incident and you just gotta answer. Relax. No pressure. It'll be done quickly. We're ready! One, two, three! Showtime! Hello, people. Welcome back to the Late Night Show with Melissa Brownman. We all heard about the police's violence in yesterday's incident involving a green citizen. Still, after all this time, discrimination is among us. It is about time to end racism towards the great green population. The world needs to hear what's happening coming from its victims. Well, we were able to get that citizen here in the studio today. Hello, Mr. Lopine, and welcome to the show. Ma'am, we have a problem. You have to come with me now. I need your help with something serious. Sir, we're in the middle of a live interview. You have to leave now. I'm confused. Does it look like I give a single shit? It's an emergency. What is happening? No time to explain. Come with me to my office. All right, so we have a problem. The cure given to the zombies to make them humans again didn't work on all zombies. Pretty sure everyone already knows that. Anyways, so those non-cured zombies, actual zombies, stay locked up somewhere safe till one day they can find a cure for them. You might be wondering what this has to do with anything right now. Well, I've got a bunch of those zombies in my basement. 
The government send them to doctors around the country in hopes that we can do tests on them and find a cure. I was feeding them earlier today. Then, by accident, I pressed the button that opens all their cages. You need to go down there now. Find a way to put them back in the cages again, then press the button that will lock them up. Zombies don't attack other zombies, so don't worry. We're not zombies. Right. Let me rephrase then. Zombies don't attack ex-zombies. Thank you. This is an urgent matter if you couldn't tell. I don't think I need to tell you what's going to happen when they get hungry. Let's go. I'm coming with you. No! He goes alone. Only one person goes down. We don't want to do anything that might anger the zombies. Okay. Be very careful, please. Good luck. Are you okay? It's done. They're all locked up finally. Thank God. And thank you. Good job. I almost lost my job. Potentially my life and my wife too. Well, I'll see you again soon. And I suggest convincing your stubborn girlfriend here to start taking the color medication. Yeah, never happening. I don't understand people. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. One of them escaped! Help me! Oh, wow. It's almost as if they're scared of you. Or that you're more superior. You saved me again. This time you saved my wife from losing me. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, two, technically. Come, let me give you your shot for today. All this running around made me almost forget. Thanks again.
Hey. What's up? What a nice coincidence. We were just going up to Robert's apartment. Robert's out of town for a while. He asked us to take care of his place till he comes back. We have a free base. You know what that means. We were thinking of popping some Xanaz, since it's gonna be just us. Do you want to come? We'll be upstairs. Come whenever you want. We'll be waiting for you. Ready? I'll be the sitter. I'll watch you and take care of you guys. Just to make sure nothing wrong happens. Sounds good. It doesn't last this long. So, enjoy it. Let's go. Wait! Dennis, Benga, and Lupine, wait! Come to my office. We must discuss something. What's up, boss? Don't think I haven't been noticing all three of you working hard. I do. I really do. That's why I'm offering you this opportunity. The real journalism experience. Something happened in a town not too far from our city. A school shooting. It's not something small either. This is our opportunity to blow up. Tomorrow you three take the train to Happyville. Interview the only survivor and come back as soon as possible. This is hot news, so it must be quick. Also, Hot news means hot promotion in my dictionary. Good luck tomorrow, my friends. Hello. I'm taking you out. Let's go. Let's go somewhere fancy, like Golden Hay. I'll be waiting outside.
Hello. Table for two, please. Sure. Are you guys actually going to pay? Or is it going to be like the green couple before you? We are going to pay. I hope so. Go ahead. Let's go. I see an empty table. I never really like anything fancy, but this place is nice. So, anything new with you? What? You're going to Happyville? I saw it on the news. Why? Everyone, mouth shut, pockets open! This is a robbery! Let's start with this sweet cash register. Hey, man, like, I need this money. You think I'm playing around? Don't make me take my mask off! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. While you empty the register, I'll be doing some pocket digging at the back. Thank you all for your cooperation. Let's go. Well, that wasn't really the night I was expecting. Sorry I dragged you here. It's my fault. I always do everything wrong. I suppose it's somewhat nice to see you again. I've been looking for you. After our last encounter, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I realized that almost everything I believed in was wrong. I have a plan to redeem myself to you and the green people. Someone must put an end to my old group. I think that person is me. And I would like to request your help. Can you help me stop my group from spreading more once and for all? Really? Wow, I thought you hated my guts. Anyways, thank you. Before we go, we need to get bombs. Let's go to the pet store.
Hi, I would like to purchase two water trigger bombs. Okay. Thank you. We're good to go now. All right, we're here. You see them? Now, here's a plan. You hide behind this. I'll go take them to the room nearby to distract them. You go plant the bombs on the crosses close to the stairs. I will then bring them back, then I'll trigger the bombs and destroy this place once and for all. Sound good? While doing this, keep in mind that this place isn't actually a real church and those people are literally racist terrorists. It's showtime! better be worth my time. Oh, it will be. Aren't you curious how I got out of jail? That a zombie jute in my church. Plot twist. Wakey, filthy stools. Michael, words cannot describe how disappointed I am in you. Never in my 101 years of existence have I been betrayed like this. Not only did you betray your brothers and I, but you also betrayed God. And that is the biggest issue here. You teamed up with the creatures we've been fighting all this time. I was thinking how you aren't scared of him. Then I realized something. Of course you're not scared of him. Zombies only want to eat people with brains. It looks like you two haven't thought of what would happen next. So, I'm going to be generous and tell you. Zombie man, you and Michael have taken everything I've worked for in my life. So, now you have two choices. Tell me your zombie buddy's hideout location and Michael lives. Or, don't give up the location, and I will drill a hole in Michael's stomach with bullets. Either way, I'll let you live with the guilt. Death would be way too merciful at this point. I'm a man of my word. Decide! Smart creature. Now leave before I break my promise. I wish I could meet you again in hell, but I'm going to heaven.
already. You know what? I have a good feeling about this trip. Yeah, excited to bond with y'all too. Of course, not to mention taking a break from the office. And the promotion too. Yes, sir. Let's hop on the train. We stop. Okay, passengers, we got a problem. Something happened to the train. We're stuck. Awesome! No, sir. No, sir. We have to keep going. I have to find the wolf girl. What? So what are we doing now? Well, there's no way to communicate with anyone and call for help. This is one of the areas without any network. So we're going to die? No. Luckily, there's a small village close to us. I say we go find a house to sleep in and ask for supplies. Maybe I can fix this train in the morning. Dude, we can't wait till the morning. Then do whatever you want. Just get off my train and don't touch anything. Nice. I need to get to Happyville very soon. Us too. Let's go find a place to sleep before it gets later than this. Man, you said this shit was close. Now I can't feel my legs. Oh, my back, bro. My back's gone. We're here. The place is empty. I see a couple of lights on in some of the houses, though. Let's go ask if we can stay somewhere. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Is that a zombie jute? Uh, okay. Well done. Next house, I do the talking. Hey, sir. Oh my uh, god! The zombies found us! Alright, it seems that the residents of this area are not fans of the Green Nation. Yeah, I think we all already got that. So, what do we do? Let's keep trying, I guess.
Hello, wait. We're lost. Our train broke down. We don't need food or anything. Sure. Just a place to sleep. You can stay. Yo, really? But I would prefer to keep my brain tonight. No zombies on my property. Uh, come on, man. You heard me. Zombie means no entry. Why are you going to be like that? I'm going in. I don't care about the zombie, man. What do we do? We stick together. We find another spot. This is the last house, man. Well, I think it's better that some of us could be sheltered. Yeah, better than all of us being stranded outside. We can't leave him outside alone. It's not better if all of us are left outside. You're all a bunch of useless bastards. I'm staying with him. <laughs> Guess I'm a bastard. We'll see you tomorrow then, guys. Good luck. Can you believe these losers? Let's just keep walking. You know, I don't think I have a problem sleeping right here. Weather is nice, no dense losers with us, and beside the water. And I, buddy, just forget about those people. Friends are similar to shadows, around you at the bright moments, but gone at the dark ones. <laughs> it's not about who pays an extra two dollars to buy you a drink, or who smiles at you. Tough situations like this are what truly show you how the person is, or how much you mean to them. You now know the truth. Anyways, we better get some rest. We still have the rest of the trip tomorrow. Hey, wake up, friend. It's time to go back. Hello. Can you fix the train? I'll check now. Hey man, hope you found a spot to sleep last night. All right, we're ready to go. Yes! Nice! So, what was the problem? Nothing. There was no problem. What? Then why did it stop earlier?
finally here. What a journey. All right, let's do that interview. Wait, you want to get some pizza first? Yeah, bro, I'm down. Heard the cheese one's fire here. Hi. I'm glad you're finally here. So, what can I tell you about the incident? Thanks. Please, share it everywhere you can. I'm leaving this town forever now. Oh, there he is. Man, we've been looking for you everywhere so we can start the interview. Too bad you're already done. We didn't want you to do all the work. Bad communication from us, so we apologize. It happens. Let's go now. The boss called me, said we should all go to the office after we rest a bit. But it's late, and after work time. It seems weird to me, but alright. Yeah, something is up. I'll see you guys there soon. I'll get there early to give Roshan the interview papers.
Uh, hello. So good news or bad news? Let's start with good. Today is your last shot. You will be back to your normal human color. You just need to take your last shot. Now the bad news is that we don't have that last shot. We ran out of supply and we're going to receive another shipment in a few months. You'll receive a phone call from us when we do, and then you can come and take it. So yeah, you're going to stay colored green for a little bit longer. Sorry. See you soon. Hopefully. Hello, friend. You made it. I told you guys to come here so we can celebrate that interview. It's a win for all of us. You know why I colored this place green? It's because green is the color of creativity. You, my friend, are the color of creativity. Come now, it's time for my speech. Thanks for coming, everyone. As you all know, I built this office from zero. I was working 24-7 to build a name for myself. Now, nothing makes me happier than to see you guys doing the same. That Happyville interview will take this office to a next level once it's released tomorrow in the paper. A massive thank you to Dennis and Benga for their effort. They fixed the train together after it broke down. They looked all over town for the shooting survivor. They conducted the interview and got all the information needed. That is why both of them are receiving a salary promotion. Hell yeah! Hard work pays off. Congratulations, guys. You deserve it after that tiresome journey. Well deserved, guys. Lupine, I need a word with you, alone. Oh, sorry, Lopine. You being there must have been a huge help to them still. Hey, friend. I don't want you to feel bad about this promotion. No pain, no gain. You know? Since they did all the work, they get the credit. Don't worry, though. Lots of opportunities in the future, friend. 